Dva benik. Bethlehem. Dus uh, niks aan de hand zou je denken. Maar er is wel wat aan de hand, want er zijn in dit land twee Bethlehem. En dit is dan de plek waar Jezus geboren zou zijn. Nou ja, er staat inmiddels een kerk op. En tegenwoordig lopen er iets meer mensen rond dan 2000 jaar geleden. Maar goed, ik besluit toch maar eens een kijkje te gaan nemen... in de hoop hier iets van de historische Jezus te vinden. Al vrees ik dat dat best een uitdaging kan worden. Al die mensen staan in de rij... om naar de grot hieronder te komen... waar Jezus geboren zou zijn. Dit, die, die, die kerk hier binnen en alles wat er omheen is gebouwd rondom de plek waar Jezus geboren zou zijn. Hetzelfde als dat kerststalletje wat ik had. Mensen hebben iets tastbaars nodig. En wij hebben er een, een stalletje van gemaakt. Hier is er een kerk omheen gebouwd. En als je op zoek bent naar die historische Jezus om er een gevoel bij te krijgen. Van hier is het echt allemaal gebeurd. Dan gebeurt er hier eigenlijk met mij hetzelfde als wat er met dat stalletje gebeurt. Het is, het is interessant om naar te kijken. Maar uh, het is wel moeilijk om te voelen, ja hier was het. Hier maak ik contact met hoe het moet zijn geweest. Amira. Hi Kifa. The man that has made my life very difficult. Good to meet you. Good to meet you too. This is Bethlehem. The Galilean one? Yeah. We all go to the other Bethlehem. Yeah. All the pilgrims, all the tourists. We think Jesus was born there. But you're saying that's not, that's not, the, that's not the case. I don't think that's the case. Okay, explain. We've got a map. This is Jerusalem. Yeah. Where is the, and here is Bethlehem. Yeah, that's Bethlehem. This is the Bethlehem that is described in the Bible, that is where all the pilgrims go. We think, we all think, Jesus was born here. Yeah. Whereas all his life was in the Galilee. Yeah, he, And he, it's the only site that take him out of the, the scene. Because his family is from here. From, from Nazareth. Nazareth. Yeah. And where is this Bethlehem? Uh, Bethlehem of Galilee. Oh, here. Here it is, right? Yeah. Th that's the one. Yeah. So, we have all learned they traveled, Mar Mary and Joseph. 120 all, kilometers. 120 kilometers. Down south to Bethlehem of Judea. While she, while she was pregnant of the ninth uh, month. Yeah. Which is unrealistic. So you don't believe that they did this? No, I don't. I think they did seven kilometers from Nazareth to uh, Bethlehem of Galilee. So you think they've situated it here for, for what reason? For theological reasons. For theological reasons. Yeah. Because uh, Christianity claims that uh, it is based on the, the Old Testament. And according to the Old Testament, uh, the Messiah should come from the house of David. And David was born in the Bethlehem of in Judea. Bethlehem. Have you done excavations here? In Bethlehem of Galilee? Yeah. Yeah. And what did you find? Eight excavations. I found first implements uh, that indicate the site was inhabited by Jews and at the time of Jesus. And afterwards, I found a very large church. What does that mean? Finding the remains of a church. What does that mean? that the place was very important for Christianity because they, uh, yeah. 
they built a very large church that was situated on both sides of the, the road. And they would, they would only do that if there was something significant there? That's what I think, yeah. Of course, there is controversy. There are some who believe that Jesus was born in Nazareth. But in that case, he could have also been born in France, in Marseille or whatever, because in that case, you suggest that the uh, uh, Gospels have no meaning. Ah. But I think they do have. But it's, they're just misinterpreted. They deliberately misinterpreted. Okay. So, apart from which Bethlehem it was, are we absolutely sure that he was born? It's a matter of faith. <laughs> I think, Is it? I think, I think he was born and he existed. Uh, and the story is too coherent to be just a uh, fiction. Okay, well, at least that is clear. <laughs> ja. Nou ja. Jezus heeft echt bestaan. Dat, uh, dat is wel helder. In welk Bethlehem hij dan ook geboren is.